Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the formula tool. We're going to be looking at conditional formulas in particular. So we do have string, math, and date time that we'll be looking at in another video. But today we're going to focus on the conditional formula. So our conditional formula that we're going to look at in this video is if a condition is met, then we're going to have something that's going to happen, a value if it's true, else we're going to have a value if it's false, and then that's the end of our statement. So you can see here that if the latitude's greater than 39.7, the region's north, otherwise the region is south. And that is the end of our if conditional formula. So we can find these conditional formulas in the formula tool. We're going to be working with the example canvas, either through the favorites bar, the blue preparation tool category, or we can search for the formula bar up in the search bar. And clicking on the example, here we're taking a look at example number two, the if else conditional formula. In this case, we're going to be creating a new column defined as region. And if the latitude is above a certain number, we're going to label that record as a north region. Otherwise, the default value will be south. As we take a closer look at the configuration panel for the formula tool, the first step is to define the output column. So we can overwrite one of our existing fields, but in this case, we want to define a new column and then provide that column name. So here we're creating a field called region. The blue F of X button provides a full listing of functions available within Alteryx. They're organized by category. There's a suggested listing at the top for the data type. And we can also search for functions based on keywords. In the conditional category, we'll find if else, a multi-part if else statement. IIF, which will be very familiar for those who like writing if then statements in Excel, as well as the switch function. Here we'll take a, a look at the first function li listed, the if then else function. We love the syntax and all tricks and the ability to break things apart onto a new line, add spaces, add comments. So here with a double slash, we can add comments, providing descriptions as to what's happening inside of our formula. So here the little c is the condition or how the test that we'll provide for the data set. Little t is the result for the region if the condition is true. And the default little f is the result if the condition is false. So little c, our condition, we're going to replace that with a field reference. A couple ways we can pull together our listing of available fields. The blue x will have our list of available columns as well as workflow constants. So things like the workflow directory and file name, as well as any constants you add in the workflow configuration tab. We can also simply type the open bracket and it's going to pull through that same listing of existing columns as well as workflow constants. So here we can select if latitude is greater than 39.7. Here we can add spaces in between each component of the expression if we'd like. Again, the syntax is very flexible. For each record where the latitude is above that value, we want to see the word north, and because it's a string value in a string field, we need to put quotation marks on either side. And if it's not above that value, we'd like to see south. After running the workflow and taking a look at the output anchor, we can see the result of our conditional formula. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.